All right, so look, I already know how this is about to go. When I when I get through this review, by the end of it, you all are going to say to yourselves, for those of you who absolutely love Wes Anderson and his films, you're going to say to yourself, that kid does not have the Wes Anderson taste, nor does he appreciate the art that Wes Anderson puts together to come on screen. Now, I will say this, The Fantastic Mr. Fox is easily one of the best animated movies of all time. That's no debate. And Isle of Dogs is freaking fantastic too. What I didn't realize, or what I realized five minutes into this movie, is that I've never seen an actual real-life depiction of Wes Anderson films. I've only seen the animated ones. Oh, this, this movie is something, I'll tell you that. Asteroid City. Hey guys, it's your guy in the chair here, and this is my review for Asteroid City, starring Brian Cranston, Tom Hanks, Jason Schwartzman, Scarlett Johansson, Margot Robbie, Sophia Lillis, Ed Norton, Adrian Brody, Hong Chow, Jeffrey Wright, Matt Dillon, literally anybody who's any literally anybody who's anybody in Hollywood at that point is in this movie, and it was directed by Wes Anderson. And the best way to describe this plot, I'm just going to say this. A small town of Asteroid City, or a small town called Asteroid City in 1955 is hosting this big little asteroid event, and this alien comes down and takes the asteroid and leaves the town in complete shambles and chaos. That's the best way I'm going to describe this plot because I personally feel like I missed a lot that this movie had to offer as far as the message goes and just what the hell it was even trying to say to me, but... I'm going to do my best anyway. All right, so look, I am going to talk about what I liked and what I didn't like about the film. And please do not get me wrong. This is not a bad movie at all. Like, I, I know for a fact what I, wa what I was watching wasn't bad. I just know for a fact it wasn't for me. I, I just know Wes Anderson movies are an acquired taste. And I can definitely tell by the way people were talking before the movie even started. Now, I've seen, like I said, I've seen a Wes Anderson movie before. But it was definitely not the Grand Buda Budapest Hotel, which I think is Wes Anderson. It was only Fantastic Mr. Fox and, and Isle of Dogs. And his style of directing and, you know, camera angles and things like that, I thought worked phenomenal for the animated movies but I did not know that the same way he shoots those movies is the same way he shoots real life movies or at least that's the way that Asteroid City is shot and personally I, I don't think that really resonated with me I don't think I was really a fan of that being the style of directing for this movie I thought that was really weird and personally these characters in this movie are so they're they are, they're so dedicated to their role of you know whatever part they're playing in this film but at the same time they feel so out of character as far as far as like not fitting in this movie per se like i'll say this jeffrey wright played this like army army soldier or this cadet or whatever um and he played the role so well i personally felt like he was supposed to be in another movie honestly Th that's really what this feels like. This feels like a conglomerate of characters who all belong in different universes and different films. And they all come together in this one city of Asteroid City just to absolutely just have complete chaos and just utter nothingness. Go Not nothingness, because like I said, I, I personally feel like I completely missed the message of this film, whatever it was trying to tell me. It just, it just really did a whole lot to try to explain whatever it was trying to explain. Now... Like I said, it's not a bad movie whatsoever. As far as ensemble cast go, I've seen a way worse use of ensemble cast when it came to, what, the movie Amsterdam and Fool's Paradise. Ensemble cast have been used a lot worse. Everybody's giving very good performances in this movie, but what I personally feel like I'm watching is like an intro, not even an intro, I feel like I'm watching an advanced acting class go on. Like I'm watching characters literally just be able to do whatever the director says at a moment's notice i'm watching characters literally just be so dedicated to their roles there and you know they they don't necessarily oh my god there's actually a, a point in this film where the guy or one of the characters go i don't understand why my character just did that runs out of the scene or whatever however they're doing it and goes i i don't understand what i'm doing and they're like you don't have to understand just tell the story just keep going i'm telling you this movie didn't make any sense to me i'm not like i'm not gonna lie to y'all this movie at some point had definitely lost me i was entertained because like, what you see going on on screen, it's not going to bore you whatsoever. Like, I wasn't bored. I was confused. I was confused a lot. And at, at times, I was kind of just, like, rolling my eyes because I'm like, 
I don't really think I'm getting this. And honestly, like I, I, I was thinking to myself, I would try to, you know, come on to this review and act like, yeah, I followed what was going on or try to act like maybe I knew, you know, what Wes Anderson's vision is. But clearly it's an acquired taste that I just don't have. I, I, it, that movie left a bad taste in my mouth. Granted, like I said, I, I, I enjoyed parts of the film. What parts of the film did I enjoy? I enjoyed the characters' portrayals of whoever they were playing. Like, I enjoyed everybody's performance in this film because, like I said, they're very dedicated to what they're doing. They're very dedicated to playing their role, just telling the story. Uh, honestly, my favorite part of the movie is when the alien comes down and takes the asteroid. That was the coolest looking shot of the movie. That was the coolest part. I really enjoyed the way the, an the alien was animated. And truthfully, after that, uh, honestly, well, let me get my mind together because I'm going all over the place just like this movie did. But there are two kind of parts to this film. There's a black and white part to this film where they're, they're, they're introducing it from the real world. They're introducing you to Asteroid City as a play. Like, Asteroid City is essentially a play. It's, it's complete fiction. It's not real. It's just a play that's going on for our enjoyment and entertainment. And they flip back and forth between the Asteroid City play, which is all the colorful stuff, and this black and white, you know, play or whatever the hell is going on this real life explanation of what's supposed to be going on the black and white parts of this film always lost me i was only being able to follow the colored parts of this film <laughs> the colored parts of this film <laughs> racism but um uh, let me stop being dumb um the the colored portions of this film was the only um parts of this movie i was able to follow the black and white completely lost me i if you were to ask me here's the thing I could tell you if you if you were to show me the trailer to this movie, I can tell you what went on in those scenes. But if you were to ask me why, I can't tell you. I can't tell you why anything happened in this movie. I'll I'll say this: a character by the end of this movie ends up with a ray gun, uh, literally a ray gun from space. Like the ending of this movie is so completely chaotic, it feels like I'm just watching an improvision, an improvised acting class go on. Like, and at the end of this movie, they're literally yelling at me: "If you if you don't wake up, or you can't go to sleep if you don't wake up, you can't go to sleep if you don't wake up, or you can't wake up if you don't go to sleep." I think it's that you can't wake up if you don't go to sleep. You can't wake up. Like they're literally just yelling that at me, and I'm that's making me even more confused. I I tried to wait after the credits were rolling to see if I can get other people's because my theater was pretty packed so I was trying to see if I can get other people's you know thoughts and opinions on the film but I think everybody left just as confused as I did nobody was saying anything I don't think anybody knew how to react to what we just saw on screen so look overall Asteroid City is a movie where I completely understand that it is not for me Wes Anderson films are clearly on a whole nother level of cinema that I just have not reached yet I think Wes Anderson movies are for the one of one whoever enjoys those fantastic mr fox if you've never seen that though i recommend that for everybody because that movie is freaking beyond fantastic it's freaking fucking phenomenal but isle of dogs 2 is really good but fantastic mr fox is the one but look overall guys this movie just wasn't for me and that's okay there's going to be movies like that that come out that just really aren't for you they aren't going to speak to you this was definitely one of them but i was entertained at times uh, scarred for others but look for all those reasons and so many more i'm gonna give asteroid city a 2.75 out of five stars all right so asteroid city have you seen it what did you think about it be sure to share your comments below on the, your thoughts on the film be sure to like share subscribe all that stuff and so much more i really do appreciate it guys this is your guy in the chair more content coming to you soon